Hello, hello. So in this video, I will show you how to build an app in Waterfall and to connect your MongoDB database and use it. And I will start with parts that require you to connect MongoDB, how you will do this, and how you will query data from our collection. I will build a sample app like this, where we can uh, see a list of uh, tasks and we can complete the task or open it if you require and etc. So add new task uh, to our tasks list and uh, this will be our demo application for this video. So I have a project in Photoflow and i will start with just ui and uh, i will show you how to connect mongodb first so i also have a mongodb instance in uh, uh, mongodb atlas service it's cloud service for mongodb and you can create a testing database while you do in development or even like very simple production database in MongoDB Atlas for free. So in this uh, video, we will use uh, like free instance and we have a list of tasks inside. We have API flow demo database in MongoDB and we have collection tasks and users that we will use for this demo. I will start with, connect, start with connecting tasks collection. So I have my project in Photoflow and I go to API Flow and I will use API Flow service, API Flow platform to connect uh, MongoDB to Photoflow. I will create a new project and will uh, connect MongoDB. Next, what I need to do, I can rename this project, so I will, uh, I will name it my tasks do demo. Save it. Uh, next, what we need to do, we need to create MongoDB connection. So we create a new MongoDB connection. We go here into Atlas, or if you have another um, instance somewhere, you need to find credentials for connection and we click connect here. You can select, for example, Compass as success shell, and you need to copy these connection stream. Uh, if you have like some other service, it can differ. Uh, so I have this connection string and I will paste it here and API flow will automatically parse it and fill all required uh, parts of connection. It's a connection scheme, it's server address or IP, uh, server port, user and password. But we need to change password because password here is placeholder for security reason. I have it saved, so I will uh, replace it in a moment and we'll show you next step. So I put my password here and save connection. Connection is saved. And I need to, I need, I selected this connection and I need to choose database. So we will use database API flow demo. And next, we need to specify what access level we will provide and uh, what uh, collections we will allow this project to use. I will use users and tasks collection and will allow read, insert, and update. I don't need delete for now. So next step that I need to do is to publish my project so it will become live and will show us information required to connect uh, to Flutterflow. So we save it. And now what we need to do, we download open API definitions. Download open API definitions. This file will allow us to automatically create required API endpoints in API calls here in Waterfall. So I go to API calls section and upload open API definitions that I downloaded from API flow. 
as you can see, I have my my uh, data here, and I have all operations that I can use now for MongoDB collections in my database. But one step that we need to do, we need to select our API group and go to API flow again and copy this authorization key that it required to protect your connection and to allow us to make it more secure. So now we add this header authorization header to Flutterfall and API group collection and we can use our API now. I will show you how it works. So we have the ability to send requests and test this endpoint. And for example, we will do a filter uh, by status. Filter, um, filter uh, syntax is same as uh, usual MongoDB requests. So you can use it like this and we can send test and we will see completed tasks here so this data is selected from mongodb and now we can connect it to our ui but to optimize work with data i usually recommend to use data types in flutterflow so we will go to data type section and we'll create a new data type called task. I'll create it at field ID string. We'll add field title string. We'll add field description. We have all these fields in our collection. So, uh, and uh, do, do add it also string preformatted date and we have what fields also we have let's check here uh, id title do add status description priority tags completed that so we will add also uh, tags for example it's string, but it's also an array of strings because we have multiple tags in attached to our uh, to our task. So we will use string and mark it as list, and we will use status. I don't need completed add field yet. So I will stop here and I will not use priority for this sample. So it's enough for me. And next I go here, select list tasks and we'll select that I need to parse response type as data type task. And this is a list of tasks. And we'll save this. We'll save this. So Next, I go here, and what I want to do, uh, I want to show a list of tasks that are in progress. So I will select, I have a view list here, and I will attach backend query to it. I select my uh, list view, I go to backend queries, add query, you need to select type of query, it's API call, and I will select a group, list tasks, and I want to set additional variables, filter, and value will be status in progress, because this is tasks in progress, so I want to see all tasks that I in progress. I click save. And next, what we need to do, we want to generate a list. So we go to generate dynamic children. 
tab and we will select here our list tasks response as data type without any files or changes. And what we need to do, we will call it tasks. Tasks list for example. Save. Okay. And we created this. We created this attachment. We created this um, uh, binding of uh, result of API call to our uh, list of uh, elements inside of view list. And now we can bind individual fields. So, for example, we want to show task name. We will bind text to element of this list and we'll select the title, a structure field. As you can see, it changed it. Show us the title. We want to show some label here. So, we will use combined text. We will use do add your add text tasks list item data structure field duet and for example we want to show features features itself are also in row and we can attach dynamic generation to the row we will use task list item data structure field Tags, as you can see, list. So, for the full automatic text field, allow us to bind uh, this field text to um, dynamic generation, and we will call it tags. Okay. And now we will bind the label inside of this chip as. Thanks item already string, it's already text. So we bind this list to backend query, generated child elements, generated tags elements from child list, because MongoDB allows us to have uh, inside of record, we can have more complex objects. And now I will run a test of this application. We will see how it works. Waterfall takes some time to build our application or project. So yeah, I will very short remind you about what we did. We uh, got our connection stream from our hosting. We use our MongoDB bus. Uh, we connected, we created a new project in API flow. We connected our MongoDB database. We selected database we want to use. We selected process level. We selected collections we want to use. Then we published our project, got our API definitions, went to further flow, connected it to API calls imported here, connected, uh, specific, we specified our authorization header to protect access to our data, and then created a data type of type of a task and mapped results of these tasks to that data type. Then we connected all fields of first list of tasks in progress. So now we wait. Uh, now we wait when our test application will be ready to check. So our test app finally loaded and as you can see we have our uh, tasks here. This list is still not bound to data and we have here our uh, items uh, our tasks that are in progress. So it's uh, it's working. It's showing us the data, and we will continue with our application development. We will create a logic for creation of new tasks, of completion of tasks, of open logic, and etc. 
So in next video, I will show you how to send data, create a new items in, uh, create a new records in uh, collections in MongoDB, how you can update data, how you can remove data. I will cover this in next videos. I will use same app, so please follow this series of uh, of videos about how to work with Waterfall and MongoDB. And if you are interested uh, in other, in working with other services, uh, other databases, you can check other videos on, on our channel. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.